These splicing videos are intended to show the techniques involved in splicing Samson high-performance ropes. Some repetitive sequences have been edited for time. Watch the video to become familiar with the individual steps of the splice. When performing the splice, follow Samson's written instructions for the step-by-step -step procedure. Written instructions at samsonrope.com. This splice procedure has been developed and tested for use with Samson Class II products only. Class II ropes are produced with high modulus fibers, HMPE, Aramid, LCP, or PBO. These fibers are often referred to by their trade names, Dyneema, Technora, Vectrin, and Xylon. Instructions for this splice can be downloaded as an Acrobat PDF file from samsonrope.com and are also available in print form in the Samson Splicing Manual. The eye splice is used to form a permanent eye or loop in the end of the rope for attachment to a fixed point like a cleat or mooring bollard. An eye is also used to form the rope around a thimble to protect the rope when attaching to a shackle, chain, or wire rope. Eight strand ropes, also known as plated or square braid ropes, are composed of eight strands grouped into four pairs. Two of these pairs turn to the left and two pairs turn to the right. The written instructions refer to gray and white strands. Here, we are marking the similar strand pairs for easy identification. From the end of the rope, count 16 picks and make mark 1. Form the desired size of eye in the rope and make mark 2. Apply tape at both marks 1 and 2. Tape them tightly. Now, mark all the strands that rotate to the left. There will be two pairs opposite each other in the braid. These are the same as the gray pairs in the written instructions. From mark 2, made earlier to define the length of the eye, down the standing part of the rope, mark a minimum of six strands rotating to the left. Make the marks clearly visible. Turn the rope over and mark the left rotating strands on the opposite side. Marks need to be clearly visible. At the end of the rope, remove any tape and tape the end of each of the eight strands individually. Be careful to hold the strands securely to keep them from fraying too much. Unbraid the strand pairs all the way back to the tape at mark 1. Keep the pairs of strands together while unbraiding. The strands are twisted around each other in the pairs. Untwist each strand pair so the two strands lie parallel to each other rather than twisting around each other. Tape the ends of each pair together.
Repeat for all the four strand pairs. Arrange the strand pairs as shown. The marked pairs should be at the top and bottom of the braid with the unmarked pairs to either side. After bending the rope to form the eye, pull the unmarked pair that is closest to the standing part of the rope over the rope as shown. Be careful not to add twists to the rope. Routing is the first round of tucks with all four strand pairs. The marked pairs will be tucked under unmarked pairs and the unmarked pairs will be tucked under marked pairs. Begin with the marked pair at the top. Tuck it under the unmarked pair closest to the mark made earlier to define the size of the eye. Pull the strand pair completely through, making certain the strands don't twist in the process. The strands of most 8-strand ropes are easily loosened to allow the tucks to proceed, but if necessary, use a fid or marlin spike to open the braid. Turn the eye over and tuck the other marked pair under the unmarked pair that is directly opposite the previous tuck. Now, tuck the unmarked pair under the marked strands closest to the first two tucks. Make certain there are no twists in the pairs as they are pulled up snug. Pull the strand pairs snug, but not tight. Once again, turn the eye over to tuck the remaining unmarked pair under the remaining marked pair in the standing part of the rope. After turning the eye a few times, it's easy to get the strand pairs confused. It helps to keep the strands organized as you work. With the first round of tucks made, pull all strands up snug. Check for any pairs that may have twisted in the process and correct if necessary. When properly routed, the strand pairs being tucked will follow a pair of strand pairs through the braid. Marked pairs go under unmarked pairs and follow the marked pairs in the rope. Remove the tape at marks 1 and 2. Continue tucking the strands, marked under unmarked pairs and unmarked under marked pairs until six full tucks with all four strand pairs have been completed.
After each round of tucks with all four pairs, pull each strand to ensure they are snug and check for twists in the pairs. Continue tucking the strands until six full tucks with all four strand pairs have been completed. The splice should now appear as shown here. At this point, we begin to taper the splice. Separate the strand pair and select the strand closest to the eye in each of the four strand pairs. Move it out of the way for now. Now, continue tucks in the same pattern with the four remaining single strands. Marked strands under unmarked strands and unmarked strands under marked strands for three full tucks. Taper the splice once more by reducing the strand volume by half. Count the number of yarns in the strand, separating into two groups. Continue tucking the remaining half strands for another three full tucks. Tape and cut off the remaining strands as before, leaving tails long enough so the tails won't disappear into the braid when the rope is loaded. The finished splice should look like this, all tucks following the original lay of the rope. If a more finished appearance is desired, the tails can be taped to the body of the rope. 